This iPhone randomly shut off and my customer has cryptocurrency wallets, authenticator apps, and pictures that weren't backed up. When we plug the phone into an amp reader, we can see that the current is stuck at about 0.2 milliamps. This could potentially mean that this phone is stuck in DFU mode. So the one way to confirm this is to plug it into the computer and see if it initializes on this program. I don't see anything on the computer, so let's take off the iPhone screen, remove these flex cables, and take out the motherboard for a proper diagnosis. When we plug the board into a DC power supply, we can see that the current jumps to about 130 milliamps, then drops to zero. This means that something is most likely disconnected on the board. Let's plug in a good working motherboard and analyze how the numbers should look. We can tell a lot from how these numbers climb. Let's short the power button pins to turn it on and see how it climbs to 130 milliamps and then it slowly climbs its way up to one amp. This means that the board is fully powering on and this is the first step to diagnosing any iPhone motherboard. Let's go under the microscope and see what's up. This is called a sandwich board because two layers are literally sandwiched together hiding the components inside. So we put the board on a hot plate and we carefully separate them. iPhones also have thermal paste to dissipate heat so we need to clean this off so it doesn't make a mess. The first thing I like to do is check the connections around this chip. This chip takes the electricity from the battery and sends it to the rest of the board and we actually find a line that's reading abnormally high. So the battery plugs into this connector then it sends power to this chip. Our diagnostic is telling us that this chip is not functioning properly. So essentially we have a sad chip and we need to turn that frown upside down. Let's pop this chip off and send it to therapy. Then let's clean the old solder off the board. We have a million of these chips in stock so let's carefully take one out of its packaging and solder it to the board. Now we have a happy chip which is an amazing goal for anything or anyone. When we test the lines around this chip they test good so let's move on. Next we need to solder these two sandwich boards back together and then we can see if the phone turns on. First let's clean all the old solder off the bottom layer. Then let's clean the solder off the top layer. Then we put this stencil over the bottom layer which has these little tiny holes for each solder joint. Then we rub some solder paste into them and compact them with a dry wipe. Then we can slowly heat up the paste until they start to form into balls. After this the bottom board will have a layer of solder balls ready to connect to the top board. Then we can place this board on the top like a Lego and heat it up to 200 celsius. The solder will slowly melt until the two boards are connected. Now the motherboard is properly sandwiched back together so let's go test and see if this thing works. We have an Apple logo and boom his phone is saved. If you need something recovered the links in the bio. Peace.